Intervals chart, uh, the storage information from the service manual, uh, the extra parts for the grease gun, and the two-stroke motor fuel oil ratio chart. This one is 100 to 1, which equates to 4 ounces for every 3 gallons, like this tank is 3 gallons. Um, you would measure out 4 ounces of the 2 cycle to the 3 gallons of gas. Uh, after this season or next, go ahead and drain and fill the gear oil out of the lower end. So make sure you use the one that's the flathead screwdriver. That's the fill, the check in the fill. And then the flathead screwdriver down here, the, the flathead one, that's the drain. Don't do the other ones that are Phillips head. Um, the grease gun is in here in this container. I got it wrapped in plastic because it kind of oozes some of the oil, but it's got the special um, waterproof grease and the end, it's got the special end that you have to loosen and then you put it on the grease fitting, like right here. You would loosen it, stick it over that fitting and then tighten it to where it doesn't come off and then pump it a few times. Um, and then there's a couple other fittings that you'll see when you look at the, the engine. Um, there's a block that I use for taking the prop off stick it in between here like this or like this you take the cotter pin out and then take the castle nut off and then you can remove the prop make sure you have the collar and the spacer right when you put it back together you want to take the prop off when you're flushing it or testing it uh, here's your old flusher back um, you can go on this way with the prop off or on the other way prop on. This one leaks really bad, so I'm going to go ahead and let you have the old one I had sitting around at home. It's a universal one. It works really good. If you stick it on the back like this, and you hook your hose up to it, and try to keep the water pressure uh, not all the way up so that it doesn't overpressurize when you're, when you're testing it. Here are the old parts in a bag. Uh, there's still some bolts and couple things in there that you might be able to reuse and you can go through and look at all the stuff that I replaced and um, you can have this whole tote if you want to run um, the engine in, in water to test it out like I did on the video um, you can have the stand that I made for it and I'll leave that everything will be underneath the, uh, the garage opening when we leave all right thanks a lot any questions Give me a text or a call.